us in the house, Francisco Chavez. He is a student at Charles H. Milby High School, and he has been selected as a 2023 Cook College Scholar by the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. Not only that, Francisco was chosen from a pool of more than 5,600 applicants from all 50 states. He is here to tell us also about how he was selected as a Gates Scholar and as a member, <laughs> I love that you're already clapping. He is also a member of the Gates Scholarship Class of 2023. Francisco, come on, congratulations. This is an amazing honor for you. I, I'm just so in awe of you and your de de determination and your just wit. Everything about you is totally awesome. And you're humble, by the way, ladies. So what does this mean to you and your family to be chosen for these scholarships? Yeah, so it means a lot, uh, especially for my family. They're low income. <laughs> so for me, college wasn't really a big idea unless I was able to pay for all of it. So with these scholarships, obviously, I was able to rack up enough funds in order to attend Johns Hopkins. What? Yeah. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I have to give you another applause for that one. Okay, so tell me about the application process with these scholarships. Yeah. What's that like? And then when did you finally learn you got them? Yeah, so for Jack and Cook, that one I applied since November. So that one took a while. Um, I think I have, I got my notification around March. Um, for Gates, that one also took a while. I applied around September and I figured out that I was a Gates Scholar actually last month. That's so cool. I'm so proud. I'm not even your mama and I want you to be my son. Thank you. All right, so okay, so tell me more about your passions. What do you, what do you want to do with your life? Yeah, so uh, I said I want to attend Johns Hopkins University mm -hmm. and with that I want to study neuroscience. Um, and then go into pre-med track in order to become either a neuroscientist or neurosurgeon. Wow, okay, so now you have to tell me, what did your mom say when you got this scholarship? Yeah, so my mom was pretty, pretty joyful. Uh, <laughs> especially for her, she didn't believe me. Oh, she no thought, way! She thought, mom, was, I'm she, thought, <laughs> she thought it was just like a joke. And I was like, no mom, I showed her the emails, I showed her all the confirmation, she was like, there's no way, there's no way. But then she, you know, it kind of finally hit her. Um, yeah, she's just very excited. <laughs> I, you are such a sweet young man. So how would you mentor other kids to follow in your footsteps to, to get towards this level? Yeah, so I want to say the biggest thing is just trial and error. There's not really like a specific formula that you have to follow. It's just, you know, keeping on top of your grades, uh, following through with your education, and then just applying, like never get tired of applying. That's a, one of the biggest things. Never feel like you've stopped until you reach that goal where you're like, okay, I have enough. Um, with me especially, I had a lot of trial and error, but thankfully I was able to get through it. I am just in awe of your maturity, young man. Good luck in all your Thank endeavors. You so and when are you heading to John Hopkins? I'll be heading in August. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Well, HISD also offers other services through its College and Career Readiness Department for all prospective students looking to apply for scholarships and financial aid to assist them with their transition into a college or degree program. So if you want to learn more about the department and its services, visit HoustonISD.org forward slash college readiness. So Adam, I want to see you two go head to head in like a quiz bowl. Because I, I, my money's